Matt, we're pleased to announce Josh Coley today. He, from what we've seen footage-wise, he looks like a really creative addition to the squad. Yeah, look, he's a, he's a good attacking player, um, someone we've watched consistently over the last season, um, done very well at Maidenhead um, and performed really well in the games we've, we've watched him. Um, someone we've been following for long enough that they, to get his deal over the line at quite an early stage in, in the off-season and in the window um, and we're really uh, thankful to Maidenhead for allowing us to do that. Matt, we understand as well, it, it's an undisclosed fee, but I, I think you've got good words to say about Maidenhead and, ha and how well you know you've dealt with them throughout this transfer. Yeah, look, they were really respectful of our situation. We were respectful of their situation. We were, we were as early as we could in terms of communications that we wanted to sign Josh, and we put a good contract in front of him at an early stage in proceedings. Um, but it was important that that process didn't go to tribunal. So we've come to um, an agreement for an undisclosed fee. Um, but like I say, it was it was one which works for both parties, and it would benefit both parties if, if Josh does well in the future um, and like I say we, we've had a, a whole host of players who've gone on to, to produce their best football with ourselves and we feel Josh could do that and that will be fully rewarded with ourselves and Maidenhead. Of course the National League's a, a really difficult league but five goals and seven assists last season that, that's great form isn't it from him? Yeah and I, you'd, be, you'd be honest you could probably have had more on top of those numbers as well um, but it's all about how he adapts to, to the league football um, He's had a taste of the professional environment at Norwich and then up in Scotland and obviously falling out of the league going into the non-league sort of scene um, has prepared him really well for what's next and we feel this is a fantastic opportunity for ourselves as a football club but also for, also for Josh to come and play a, a better level of football and test himself against better players um, but to be settling into our training regime and our, our environment will hopefully give him the best opportunity to produce his best football. What was it about Josh that caught your eye? Like I say, he's a good attacking player. He wants to take the opposition on. He wants to get the ball on the floor at his feet. Um, and he's got a, a low centre of gravity, which allows him to move past players and move past players at speed. He's one of these players who looks as quick with the ball as he does without it. Um, and that's really impressed us. Look, there's lots of aspects of his game we know we've got to work on and we know we've got to improve. Um, but we've got a lot of time in relation to that. And that, like I say, if he continues to develop at the rate he has last season, we're really excited that what a fantastic prospect we've brought to the football club. And it'd be a great step up for Josh as well, with it being his, his first opportunity in the football league as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mentioned it there. Timing's a, a big thing in football, um, and we feel that what, what's happened to him in terms of a, a, a non-league pedigree going into the football league with, with Norwich, but not really getting any game time within that environment. Certainly not immense football. A little bit of time up in Scotland, and then the non-league scene closer to home in terms of the national league. Uh, timing's really important, but he's got enough games under his belt to know his own game, to know what's needed to be successful at any level of football. Um, and like I say, that the more time he spends with us, the, the better he'll get a, an understanding of our ideas and the ways our principles are play um, and he'll do that in pre-season it'd be great for the fans to see him live in pre-season certainly someone we're, we're looking forward to seeing him play because uh, we feel he's a player who will play better with better players on, on better surfaces and, and when there's more structure in the game as opposed to sometimes certainly at our level and lower levels it, it just becomes chaotic um, but he's a very good player with the ball at his feet and then you need to get the ball and you need clean ball in order for him to, to perform well so we're really looking forward to seeing him play and he's in a position as well, un unlike last season's summer signings, that they'll go into game time in front of fans straight away rather than being deprived of that in their first season. Well, definitely, we, we hope so. Uh, and we're looking forward to that. We, we, we've got to be mindful that his season's just finished. Obviously, the National League was, was extended by a certain period of time. So he's only 10 days into his off-season. So we've got to taper his pre-season, certainly at the start, slightly to allow him to that rest he needs for his body to recover from a, a pretty um, you know a difficult season for himself in terms of the amount of games and minutes he's, he's had to play. Um, but also, we don't want him too far behind in, in pre-season pre-season so we're really looking for, looking for him to come to the fore you know week three to five in pre-season after that first couple of weeks to get him to know his teammates and also giving his body enough time to recover from what's been and gone but also getting him ready for the, the you know the demands of league football I say it all the time and he's a young lad as well so we'll put a lot of demands on him physically and mentally and also in relation to his game and his body's got to be ready to withstand that when, when they come um, so we, like I say the, the weeks three to six in pre-season will really tell us what sort of player we've got on our hands.